The world's longest running comedy music concert series is coming from inside your house! <laughs> wow, <laughs> that went to a dark place. <laughs> Virtual MarsCon 2021 is taking place online for free on March 12th, 13th, and 14th. Hi, MarsCon! <laughs> This year's event will have live stream performances by The Great Luke Ski, Devo Spice, Worm Quartet, Insane Ian, TV's Kyle and Lindzilla, Il Nage, Beth Kinderman, Tom Smith, Throwing Toasters, Amy Engelhart, an AMA interview with Ookla the Mop, and this year's music guest of honor, Robbie Ellis. We'll also be doing a virtual Q&A with the man who has been playing drums in Weird Al Yankovic's band for over 40 years, John Bermuda Schwartz. Drum solo! For info on how to watch, go to MarsCon.com. And for info on the comedy music track, go to MarsConComedy.com. And uh, do watch out for flying lobsters. Thanks for listening, funny music fans. And I hope to see you all at Virtual MarsCon 2021. Greetings, Internet, and welcome once again to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian. I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan. And this week, I am reacting to two songs by the Stupendium once again. First... Impossible Geometry, his Beat Saber song featuring Chi Chi, uh, and also the very first stupendium song, Amateur Wordsmith, Average Rapper Raps Averagely, or something like that. Amateur Wordsmith. Uh, but uh, if you're new to this channel, uh, I do reactions like this on all types of comedy music, not just Stupendium songs, although the past couple have been all Stupendium, uh, and I also do my own comedy music. If you notice the ad before this video, uh, that means that MarsCon is this coming weekend. If you are watching this on the day this releases, uh, that means my performance at MarsCon is Sunday, March 14th. Uh, it will be uh, broadcast on YouTube. The link to it is in the description, the link to my performance. There are three days of performances, uh, and uh, you can check those out. Uh, all the details about those at MarsConComedy.com or at MarsCon.com. But if you want to just go see my stuff, I am opening the day's performances on Sunday at 1 p.m. Central Time. Uh, figure out the other time zones from there. Uh, and like I said, the link to that will be in the description. That link will be for everything on Sunday, so immediately following me is the Q&A with Ookla the Mock and the various and sundry other acts that are performing that day. Uh, but, aside from all of that, we now get to this. Uh, like I said, if this is your first time joining me, I tend to pause a good amount. I'm going to try to ramble a lot less than I did the previous video. I rambled a lot last time. Uh, but uh, well, we're going to try to ramble less and uh, check out these two cool videos. I, uh, I've i played Beat Saber quite a bit on PSVR. I need to play it more because I need the exercise. Uh, and uh, I wish you could import your own songs into the console versions like you can the PC version. Uh, but anyway, I think that's everything. Oh yeah, of course, like, share, comment, subscribe. If you want to help choose which songs I react to next, you can join my Patreon. For just a dollar, you can vote in the polls and get your name in the end credits here. For more than that, you can check out the videos early, as well as exclusive songs that I release every month, plus a bunch more other goodies. The link is here on my body, patreon.com slash insane Ian. Okay, I think that's everything. So much spiel to get through. Let's watch a video now, shall we? What's the volume at? I'm gonna make sure I'm not blasting volume. Yeah, that's good. Let's do a thing. Oh, uh, this one contains flashing images. So if you have a uh, little epilepsy warning there. Which is like the game and there he is with the VR helmet on the, the logo. The slashing through. I feel the music moving through every part of me. I nice. See the beauty blooming out of every passing beat. I'm flying straight towards the light, and there's no stopping me. I live my life inside impossible geometry. So I was not expecting uh, Chi Chi to be the hook. I'm not familiar with who Chi Chi is, 
But uh, when a voice happened that wasn't Stupendium's voice, I was struck with, oh, hey, that's new. Uh, I dig it. I dig it. Got, it's always good to have have uh, different vocals on the hook. I, I, I dig that. And also, just the term impossible geometry is quality stuff. I, I dig that for the game. It's it, very fitting. Part of me, I see the beauty blooming out of every passing beat. I'm flying straight towards the light, and there's no stopping me. I live my life inside an impossible geometry. There's a place I go where the bass not flows. Place time slows and daylight throws its shade on haze and radiant tones. I take my place and name my blows. My sabers glow as they composing graceful trails of shapes and notes. These blades in place are slaying foes. They play amazing laser shows. Whoa! That was some seriously sick flow there. That was awesome. Uh, that is quite possibly the fastest I've ever heard Stupendium rap. I feel like. Maybe. I don't know. Also, this is a comedy musician reaction. I tried to, to, to go to, to comedy songs. I thought by the song title Impossible Geometry that it might be funny. If I'm going to be wrong, this is another oops. It's fine. It's fine. We're, we're all enjoying ourselves and having a good time. Uh, that was seriously a sick flow. And also, the fact that it's just all straight out of the game in the visuals, uh, it's it's just playing this song in the game without playing it. You don't have to do the arm exercises. This is exactly what I look like when I play uh, Beat Saber, by the way. Very limited in a small, tight elbow space, no... No large movements, because that would be useful. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. On a rip to revive the slip to the slice, take a rip for the glide, kill a brick to the side, as a rip to a vibrant tide, like a rip to a diamond, my soul's climbing high. With every strike, until the energy rise, the way ahead of his bride is an incredible ride. It's music, the food of love, that observe it in heavily dice. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good line. If music is the food of love, I'm serving it heavily diced. Wow. Again, the the flips that he does and the 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 cool little turns of phrase that he that he throws into his rhymes are so choice and so good, such great writing quality. I, I hmm. I I, I recently uh, put out a new song and I was really super proud of it. I'm like I like my wordplay in it, and then I listen to this and go, oh, you have much to do, Grasshopper. I've been doing this for over 10 years and uh <clears throat> anyway this is this is really good this is really fast i'm really glad the lyrics are on screen it's it's something that a lot of uh nerdcore musicians as well as comedy musicians seem seem to do is the importance is on the lyrics so they want to have them on screen to make sure that you're catching everything and i appreciate that coconut in my teeth sorry jumping back a little bit there I kill a brick to the side as a brick to a vibrant tide Like a brick to a diamond, my soul's climbing high With every strike until the energy rise The way ahead of his bride is an incredible ride If music the food of love that observe it, it heavily dies Wanna take me up to the scale Only I make beat turn to dollar bills My high score's coming on the mill Hang on a second there The rise the way ahead of his bride is an incredible I feel the energy rise the way ahead of me is bright is a great line too, but uh, that's not what I want to do. music, the food of love, that observe it, it heavily dice. Wanna take me up to the scale, only I make beats. Only I make beats, hundred dollar bills. Isn't one of the songs in the game called hundred dollar bills? I feel like that's the name of one of the one of the tracks that you're you're actually playing in Beat Saber. I I could be wrong. It's been a, it's honestly been a couple months since I've played, uh, but. I feel like that's one of the track names. Yeah. Turn a dollar bill. My high score's coming on the mill. The job takes sleep, running on the thrill. The prophecy could build on my prophecy revealed at the top of any field, but the trumpet is a wheel now. Nothing does a kill to be present in the build, and it's not funny I feel that with all of the brilliance. Red left, two right, down, up, down, diagonal. Nine, step left, two right, down to the ground. Now swap sides. Take Tetris and DDR with a little bit of rock band lead guitar. Take Tetris and DDR with a little bit of rock dance lead guitar. Wow! Man, that's good. And just the step left to avoid the mines, all that. Oh, it's so... 
so good quality, man. It's just the writing is, and also the 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 line the up with audible brilliance, which I happen to jump right back to because I wanted to talk about it. That's amazing. Uh, it's a great, so many great lines in here, and they're going by you so fast. The words, it's like it's like playing the game only instead of like the symbols going by your head. It's just this l lyrical amazingness. You, you know what I mean. Uh, it's just so much going by that I like, I want to say that something about this. I want to say, oh, but this is really good. And it's, it's too much. It's, for a game for a a game that itself is kind of sensory overload the song about it is sensory overload which is a great dichotomy it's it's a great mix it's a great match for for that kind of thing uh i i, I on a technical aspect i appreciate that because that's that's good emulation to your source material i suppose um but man, there's some really great lines here. Take pictures and DDR with a little bit of rock band lead guitar from the outside. It might seem bizarre, but you might just never want. But you might not just. Yeah, but you might just never want to leave VR. So good. That's that's the the first laugh I had in that. Only because I I laughed because of the irony of it. Because yeah, you know it. Be, despite the sensory overload of everything whipping past your face and you trying to get the things in time with the music, it's just there's something so. Adrenaline pumping yet calming about it. <laughs> and that's the other good line. It, it never in all of history before has cardio been such a bliss to perform. That's so good. Because, uh, yeah, it's a damn workout. Uh, if you want to, to build up the biceps and triceps, swinging your arms madly in your living room, Maybe, hopefully, not it knocking over house plants or scaring your cat. This is this is the way to do it. Yeah, it's it's the it's the new rhythm game again. Like you were saying, like you know, mixing DDR with Tetris and and Rock Band's lead guitar. It is just you know you're playing on the beats. It's a rhythm game. It's a music game, but it's also just more high energy physically like ddr is while kind of matching shapes depending on how you're supposed to swing eh, sort of like a puzzle game tetris could be said that but tetris is a little different obviously but he's acclimating the puzzle game aspect to it of that and uh, i dig that it's beat saber is like a jedi going ham on house music just two lightsabers just crushing it that's that's Beat Saber. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay, I have to I have to rewind it because I, I laughed over the next line. But you might put your your, your fist through a wall, it's what I meant. Knocking over plants and yeah. I feel the music moving through every part of me. I see the beauty blooming out of every passing beat. I'm flying straight towards the light, and there's no stopping me. I live my life inside impossible geometry. I found a place where my pain is for the way of rock city. Where my heartbeat and the bass can weave a tapestry. I'm flying straight towards the light, and there's no stopping me. I live my life inside impossible geometry. I have to admit, I'm a little gun shy. Uh, when something glitches in the sound like that, because it's, I just half expect Monica to come through again. We just watched the Why Did I Say Okie Dokie two different versions on previous videos, uh, but uh, that's as soon as something like that happens, I go, oh, nah, you get a little gun shy. Sorry, but uh, love that hook. That's a great hook. Uh, bravo to Chi Chi on the on the singing on that. This is this is quality. 
Sure you can handle a Rubik's Cube, but can you still as you withdraw through with a little pair of sticks and an index groove with a pillow of the bits to be misconstrued? Ain't no dojo, it's not fruit, no golden bricks to loot. Lego store my disapprove if they found their bricks misused. Having had fresh air in weeks, this Whoa. underwear must reek. As of yet undefeated, my conquest to the beat is all that matters to me. It's a new theme of my thesis, lies of track into pieces. Alright, we're getting a little esoteric here. A little weirdly ethereal. Uh, with uh, Stoops coming through the VR to sing right at your face. Uh, making it sound like he's losing his mind in the game. Which I should have expected. You know, most of his songs about games aren't exactly about the games. And about, you know, a lot of the games that he talks about is switches it on like, you know, the uprising of the proletariat <laughs> or the... Or, the factions of capitalism and we, we should have known that something a little bit more underneath would spring forward in the underlying theme of the the th video and song uh, uh, it just makes you re-examine your own writing sometimes you know then move on to the remake no time to wait so my Whoa. mom's to me with the top on the carpet to catch the <laughs> My mom's feeding me with a tarp on the carpet to catch the debris because he's still in VR and she's just feeding him while he's playing the game. That's hilariously genius and awesome. And also, the beat flip on that. So when he says we're going into the remix and then just the beat ch completely changes. That's so good. You know the oceans and trees couldn't hope to compete with explosions No reprieve or reprieve, no reprise or reprieve could entice me to leave, which is also just a quality rhyme scheme, but also just the lighting on his face being the red and the blue of the different sides that you're slashing with. It's like, it's like reflecting off of the game, but also reflecting off of what sabers he's having in each hand because while this is coming towards you you have the blue one in this hand and the red one in this hand and he's got the blue light on this side of his face so it's actually the the reflection of what would be like if he was holding the sabers not as he's looking at because his face coming towards you the red is actually going to be on this side on that side of the screen so it's actually being reflected from his perspective inside the vr helmet but we're seeing it come toward us through the game. That's an insane detail that is amazing to pick up on. That's... You really gotta respect the amount of attention he puts into his videos and just the amount... the sheer amount of quality he dumps into every single frame that he puts in front of you. That's that's amazing. And that's kind of why a lot of his stuff is so genius. Is It's not just the writing, but it's the presentation in the video as well. Uh, all of these, that's, that's why I react to them is because there's so much more than just the song. There's also the visuals that go with it. And that's kind of what always is important to elevate the song. Music videos aren't just, Hey, here's a guy performing the song. Let's elevate the material that the song is trying to say. Yeah, I got a little rambly. Sorry. Moving on. I want to play the game again now, just like right this second. I'm flying straight towards the light and there's no stopping me. I live my life inside impossible geometry. I found a place on my playlist, plays a rock city. Where my heart beat in the bass can weave a tapestry. I'm flying straight towards the light and there's no stopping me. I live my life inside impossible geometry. Literally living his life inside it because he's stuck in the game. It's amazing. So, that was Impossible Geometry. That was fantastic. Again, 
not as funny as I was expecting it to be because kind of more of a serious song. Uh, though there are still more jokes, putting your fist through the wall. Uh, a couple of the other ones that I pointed out that I can't remember because everything went by so fast. But now, we go on to the very first Stupendium song, Amateur Wordsmith, Average Rapper Raps Averagely. I find it funny already that after that previous song, he considers himself anywhere near average. Admittedly, this song is three years old. Uh, I think Beat Saber is one or two years old. But uh, three years ago, he considered himself average. We'll find out, because this is his first song, and from what I understand, it might be a little rough. But uh, whose first song isn't? I have a couple on my channel. That's fine. Anyway, let's check it out. <laughs> Seems a lot of rappers like to rap about how good they are at rapping. I'm not that good at rapping. And I'd hate to be the son. Again, I find that hard to believe that, that Stupendium here says he's not that good at rapping. This is his first song, and maybe he improved from it, but I find it hard to believe, knowing what I know about his skill now. That said, baby-faced stupendium. No sideburns, no mustache. Decided to not go with the glasses. Uh, interesting. Interesting. We all look different from years ago. I had an interesting look for a while. You're all gonna look for it now, I'm sure. Uh, on this channel, you won't you won't see the mullet, but I had one of those when I first started doing stand up. Yeah, that was a thing. Uh, anyway. <laughs> there was a, a, a shot there pre previously, the outfit he popped up in, he kind of reminded me of either Mr. B the Gentleman Rhymer or it, it seemed a little steampunk, so maybe Professor Elemental, which, you know, a lot of people, they are two uh, British rappers who sometimes get called nerdcore, but the proper term is chap hop. Um, and, uh, they're two, uh, fantastic performers. And, uh, Professor Elemental, uh, really amuses me because he, he infuses his chap hop with a very heavy steampunk aesthetic. Uh, and I kind of got that, that vibe from one of those outfits he popped up in. The vocals are very quiet on this. Uh, so clearly, when he said this was a little rough, he, he might have meant in the mixing, too. <laughs> Again, can relate. I'd love to rap about how good they are at rapping. I'm not that good at rapping. And I'd hate to be this on. So, a little bit of fun. What's a new hobby about? It's great, but there's one part that needs to be confounded. One thing that puts me from a proper rapper, and that's a lack of grasp on the subject matter. I can't rap about bitches and hoes, bitches and... He says he's not that good at rapping, and admittedly, the his flow in this is very different from the flow that he currently has, and he's very practiced in his performance in his songs now. Um, but there are still some inner rhyme schemes at the end of ver at the end of bars that still keep the good cohesion from the line before. It's not just rhyming to and through or to and you, but he's got that multisyllabic rhyme at the end of each. Uh, you know, he says just to just to pull the one that's that's right here that made me stop and say it. Uh, claim to be pro, believe so. 
um, you're hitting both uh, vowel sounds. Not just the end vowel sound, but the vowel sound from the word before it, too. Um, it's not as established as it is in his current songs, but it's definitely... The seeds are there in this song to see where he's grown into it now, is what I'm saying. I took a long roundabout way out of saying it, but you get my point. He just claimed to be a pro, a fairly blind, trying to make you believe so. I'm just an amateur wordsmith. You'll be a different in the instant you heard it. Well, I'm finished, you were wishing you'd skip the track. So here's three minutes, you won't get back. <laughs> Cause I don't got a lot One gold chain I'm afraid it's on a pocket watch Disgusting numbers are cufflinks To top it off The sleeves hold together Better than the clever rhyme to drop But if you need a dapper rapper I'm your manji I'm going wild across the board Jumanji uh <laughs> I'm going wild across the board Jumanji Now this is admittedly Doing a, a little bit of the one thing about What some people call comedy rap that is the one thing I don't like about comedy rap. And that is making the comedy portion be the rap itself. Uh, it's, oh, look at this. I'm a white dude rapping. Isn't that funny? And most comedy rappers that I know, and Stupendium included ever since this point, uh, ever since past this point, I should say, uh, don't focus on that. They just let the songs be funny. And that is kind of the better angle for comedy rap, I think, because you're not making fun of the genre in that case. Uh, I love hip-hop. I love rap. I, I have a great respect for the genre, and I'm not trying to, in my comedic rap, say the fact that I'm doing rap is the funny thing in itself. That should never be the joke, in my opinion, anyway. Um, it's a personal preference. I'm not saying that's how it should be for everyone, but that's how I view it. Um, because I have respect for the genre, and I have respect for where it comes from, and what it was always used to say. Um, that said, uh, we've all kind of done it starting out in trying to do comedy rap. You you kind of go for the easy, oh, this is funny, because it's me doing this. Eh, you know? Uh, it, it It's one of those things where it's... It doesn't sit right, you know? But at the same time, I still respect what he's trying to do because he's trying to say, look... I'm, the angle of this song is that I know I don't fit here. And, but I'm doing it anyway because it's something that speaks to me. Even though I don't do what normal rappers do. Um, and again, that's <laughs> a little stereotypical, I guess you could say. His assumptions about uh, hip-hop. But again... We all learn and grow. <laughs> uh, I'm not trying to pick this apart. I'm I'm just trying to speak from a place for where uh, that kind of behavior in a song makes me feel, personally. Uh, and again, like I said, I did it myself when I first started doing this. Um, so I, it's interesting to see, especially since this is his first song, how much he's grown past that and how much he's moved past that and how much more skill he's obtained in his production and performance. Oh, his production in this video, however, is still phenomenal. Uh, just the different costume changes and the different cuts and everything, it's way more than I would ever have the patience for. <laughs> <laughs> and the integration of the other videos that he's you know, a fan of, clearly, into the video as if they're there with him is still high-quality stuff. Um, again, it's it's not... I don't... It's not that I don't like it. It's just that that's how I feel about it, you know? All right, sorry I rambled again. It's fine, I know. We'll get over it together.
Poppy watch is casting numbers are cuffling to top it off the sleeves hold together better than the clever rhyme to drop. But if you need a dapper rapper, I'm your manji. I'm going wild across the board, Jumanji. But I'm aware there's a fair few better than me. But if I'm not your first choice, I'll be your plan B. So this That's a great rhyme scheme. That one, that one, that whole four bar area was, was a really great, clever rhyme through. If I'm not your first choice, I'm your plan B. That's, that's very good. I dig that. But if you need a dapper rapper, I'm your manji. Manji, Jumanji. Jumanji. I'm aware there's a fact you better than me. Than me. If your first choice, I'll be your plan, plan B. B. Yeah, again, that's, that's all with that internal rhyme scheme at the very end of the lines. He does it a lot more in the through lines in later songs, but this is just like the the beginning of the greatness. If I ain't taking your fancy, cause I'm pretty quick but I ain't breaking the land speed. Are you got a plan B? Or make it plan C. I'll have to join the queue, not John Delancey. We never seen me, I'm not new in her before. Been on the mic, but no, I'm not a herbivore. Play a lock and find me leaping through a dance. Acceptable, adequate, average, nothing more. <laughs> His lines are never lacking catchy hooks. Let's be honest. Even if this is rough around the edges and a little bit mocking the genre, it's still kind of a banger. It's kind of a bop. It, it's still got a good bounce to it. It's still got a little bit of that head nom. You're not going to make stank face during this one, but you're, you're still going to enjoy the beat. The flow is still decent. So, and he's, you know, every, every one of his songs is still really damn catchy. So... It's a case of him underselling himself. Our biggest accomplishments are a far cry from the lapse of cook. And the fundaments can master taste of dusty look. So we put on a stash of weird to get my taxi book. Me use fishing for compliments. My lines are lacking catchy. I've got to face facts. This act just wasn't meant to be. When I drop the mic, half the time it's accidentally street credit. I max my overdraft. If I'm making paper, it's strictly arts and crafts. Nice. Not urban culture like a greedy ogre. Fashion tends to what a thing is seen as Grecian togas. We hash the arts and crafts. Again. Uh, yeah yeah okay i i i fully agree it's a little it's a little rough that's okay we all learn and grow credit i max my overdraft if i'm making paper it's strictly arts and crafts a cashing in on urban culture like a greedy ogre fashion tends to what i think it seems as grecian togas we hash the arts and crafts analogy to see me over the only thing that i'm packing here is mediocre <laughs> <laughs> Just an amateur wordsmith. You'll be a different the instant you heard it. In a minute, you'll be wishing you'd skip the track. So here's three minutes, you won't get back. My Romy couplets can't be as bad as some you heard. Put a lot of care in pairing up the funny words. 50% of the time, it's a nifty attempt at a rhyme. The other half, it's not. My skill was. <laughs> okay. So, uh, another comedy artist who also does songs about video games that I really like and have actually reacted to on this channel before, as well as done a song with, is Brental Floss. Uh, I love Brental Floss's music. I love what he does by adding lyrics to the music from games, um, which technically I guess is parody, um, but he, he really puts a lot of care and art into his craft of writing, and occasionally he'll do videos called Lyrics 101. And one of the things he pointed out that he absolutely hates is when they go for the joke of not rhyming. Saying how this, you know, you're, you're following a rhyme scheme and then that next line doesn't rhyme and they point out that the line doesn't rhyme by making it not rhyme. And he absolutely hates that. I don't. I will nine times out of ten find it funny. Uh, like I just did. So, take of that what you will. My rhyming couplets can't be as bad as some you heard. Put a lot of care in pairing up the funny words. 50% of the time, it's a nifty attempt at a rhyme. The other half, it's not. 
My skill with similes is something that I haven't mastered. Like a pile up on the freeway, I'm slowly moving past it. And now you've heard my way with words in the last bit. Let's see how I handle the obligatory fast I'm just an average kid from the south. Let's pay more running off of the mouth. Screwing the musical skill I've brewing. I'm chewing up tunes and I'm screwing them out. Failing a fame, I'm barely forgettable. Boilers are putting me up on a pedestal. Let's see if I can't the D on a couple of people. I'm more rapping legible. I can't rap fast. I just can't. I trip over my own tongue enough in these videos when I'm not trying to rap. Just speaking, I trip over my own tongue. People who can do this and do it where they can enunciate, enunciate enough, see? Where they can enunciate enough that you can understand them and still speaking clearly and quickly with enough skill to get everything out and not fumble over it is just one of those things that I just can't do no matter how you practice, whatnot. It's just, it's phenomenal. And there is like, a, there was a whole raft of people online who, who were doing that a lot. Watsky did it and then Mac Lethal uh, piggybacked off of his because Mac Lethal could also really rap fast and they kind of bounced back and forth between like this guy was rapping and then, then this guy was, was following up trying to rap faster and then you have artists like who can do that with a, a, a amazing amount of skill and they're not just like putting in filler lines either. Every line is still a quality good rhyme scheme going through and being really fast. Um, I respect that 100%. I wish it was something that I had the skill for. I do not. But this is just... For an average rapper, that's already incredible. Uh, for someone who's claiming to be an average rapper, to have a section where you're going to attempt that and then successfully do it right from jump, mad kudos, mad props on that. I'm just an average kid from the south. Let's pay more running off of the mouth. Screwing the musical skill I've brewing. I'm chewing up tunes and I'm screwing them out. Failing a fame, I'm barely forgettable. Boilers are putting me up on a pedestal. Let's see if I can't have a D on a couple of people. I'm more rappers illegible. Trying to tackle more than I can handle. Wanna be wishing me as much. You're damned. But feeling my crap at this point. And then he drops Watsky or Dan Bull. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. So it's again, it was a it was a trope he was aware of. Uh. Good stuff. I'm screwing the musical skill I've brewing. I'm chewing up tunes and I'm screwing them out. Failing a fame, I'm barely forgettable. Boilers are putting me up on a pedestal. Let's see if I can't have a D on a couple of people. I'm more rappers illegible. Trying to tackle more than I can handle. Wanna be wishing me as much as your dad's. But feeling my crap at this compound of candle. If I'm the shit, let me try to get a landfill. And I've got the money to listen to my lyrics. They always love it. I'm doing this. Defining the blessings while living to give it. He lands, he lives near silver and limited. You can come on to alliterate with the lead. Can you be lost in the lead of addiction? You love me, you live me, you love me, you live me. He's letting the lemons alone in your limousine. A lot of alliteration going on in there that is really quality alliteration having everything begin with the same letter and almost the same syllable sound. Uh, but you're, again, because it's an old song, you're losing those vocals in the mix. The music is coming up a little louder than them. So it, it's a little harder to appreciate them. Um, but I, this is probably my favorite line. If I'm the shit, then I'm straight for the landfill. That's a quality line. Um, but, you know, everything in this fast section is so good. It's so fast going past you. I thought Impossible Geometry was impressive. This section alone is is what makes this song. So yeah, <laughs> subscribe, question mark? Uh, yeah, overall, I, uh, I really dug that. Uh, again, I, I know that the comparison angle came from a place of, of honesty and reverence for the genre. So uh, it's not one of those things that um, 
again, it's not one of those things that I like in comedy rap because it kind of makes it seem like it's not coming from that place, but he at least seems to honestly have that love for hip hop and uh, which is definitely shown in his later songs. Um, for a first song, it's really good. Uh, we know where he's gone from this, but as far as uh, first impressions, I don't know if this is really where I, I would have expected him to come from. Uh, I'm not saying that it's bad, but he has definitely found his hook as far as what brings his audience in. And self-referential, uh, self-parody isn't where his hook lies. It's actually in his lyrical content, uh, as far as, or lyrical skill, I should say. Um, because the content is what the song is about. Um, so it's, it's his skill in writing the lyrics and, and self-referential, uh, pointing out of, of obvious tropes in himself and in the genre that he's doing isn't what pushes him forward. And thankfully, uh, the other songs have been different. So, uh, I, I'm not, I'm not trying to come off like I don't like this because I absolutely do like this song. It is a decent first impression for, for an artist that I have grown to love and appreciate and actually, thankfully, uh, get to know pretty well. Uh, so uh, to go back and see something like this is like, it's, it's eye-opening because we all come from somewhere. <laughs> and this is, this is where Stupendium came from. And I appreciate being able to see that. I, I appreciate a look back and seeing how much an artist I like has come and you know, how far they've come in, in their abilities and their skill and their craft. Um, I, it's, it's one of the things, uh, a lot of comedy musicians I know actually who started out performing very, very young, um, absolutely hate their early material. And, uh, they, they completely denounce it. And I, meanwhile, cause I'm a narcissist, still have my old stuff up. Some of it, lyrically, probably is problematic nowadays. But, you know, you, you own that and you say, that was a different time, I've grown as a person. But, regardless of all that, the battery is dying on the camera, so that's what we're going to say for this week. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to help me decide another Stupendium song to check out, or any other songs, or want to help support the channel, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash insanian. I'm performing this weekend on Sunday. Link is in the description to that MarsCon link, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Man, I rambled this week. It was another 40-minute video. Ah. I know you're only here to see the other fans. It's not like I need fans, but I, I could, could really use some fans. fans. Now you don't have to worry. I'm not up here long. By, By the way, did I mention you can find me on Patreon? I'm here to warm you up as I rap and dance and sing. If no one pays attention, well, it's kind of embarrassing. But here's the thing, I'm used to it. Occasionally I'll bomb. Did a show for three...